Hey, it's Heather, and today I'm going to tell you about my adventure with the United Nations Brooklyn Farm Tour. Last month there was a big conference here on the Committee for Sustainable Development, which is dedicated to feeding the planet without destroying it. And they were here in New York, so they took a, ta a tour right, right here in my backyard. And we went to four gardens, farms, city farms, and they all taught me something different. The first one was the Holland Beck Community Garden in Fort Greene. And it's a pretty small farm with as much flowers as food, but what they had was um, a real commitment to um, sustainable practices. They had a rain harvesting system where they collected water on a neighbor's roof and filtered it so that they had uh, water that was not potable from the tap to irrigate their crops. Now, of course you could turn on the hose, but I didn't even know this. Um, it causes runoff in the Hudson, which is not good, and it costs money. So it's far more sustainable to have this system. The second thing they had was composting. Composting is an alternative to synthetic fertilizer, which, uh, you know, causes, it's oil-based, so it's expensive, and it causes an ecosystem nightmare in the oceans. And what is compost? It's uh, organic matter, wood, uh, peelings from your table, and some earthworms, and a little temperature control, and you have this wonderful compost. So that was the most impressive thing about that garden. The next one we went to was in the heart of Bed-Stuy, the uh, Haiti Carthon Community Garden. And this really brought out the importance of community in the terms of what local farming does. The activist there, Yannette Fleming, gave this wonderful uh, uh, talk about her commitment to the fact that everybody deserves locally grown fresh food. It is a basic need that is too often denied, particularly in poor neighborhoods. We had lunch there fabulous lunch made by the community organizers. And uh, we got to learn about some of the delegates that are from Kenya, they're from Venezuela, and um, some of the policymakers. This woman from UNICEF who was extraordinarily committed to not just establishing policy, but serving the, the basic farmer and person. And then we went to another spot in Bed-Stuy, um, which was a hybrid. It was really amazing. It was a combination uh, food pantry and city farm. A couple, the Jacksons, they're both reverends, every week they give out bags of food two days a week, one to the general population and one to seniors. In addition, they are trying to establish a farmer's market in the area because in this very densely populated and poor area, um, eight out of the ten places to buy food are bodegas where there are no access to local food. Absolutely wonderful organization, made me proud to be a New Yorker. Um, and then we ended at the East New York Farms, which is um, poetically in one of the regions that was what the, the breadbasket of New York City, this you know totally urban center, used to be where all of New York City's produce was grown. And uh, it's the largest and most established. They also have an East New York food co-op associated with it. And the difference between this one and the others is that if you have a plot of land, and you, all you have to do is volunteer and sign up to get some land, little plot, you are required to take it to market because they have a vibrant farmer's market that you know links to other farmer's markets so that they are serving a very underserved population. So it inspired me, the, the, the uber non-gardener, to actually, in my cement garden, plant some things. It's astounding. I, 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 my only interest in, in gardening is not because I can eat it. Um, and I have here, I got some, you know, bell peppers. There's some cucumbers back there, a few beans. Not looking so fabulous, but let me tell you right now, this basil, it, it, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be a dinner tonight. Uh, and I'm going to do, you know, I have a little appetizer here, but I'm going to do a little grilled bread little tomato, little basil. It's going to be fabulous. And maybe later in the season, we'll do some real cooking with what I pick for my crops here in Brooklyn. So for wines, for recipes, and much, much more about my Brooklyn farm tour adventure, hit my website, sogood.tv.